Hi, it's Dan here from Flexible and today I'm going to show you how to install the Facebook Messenger plugin onto your landing pages and why it's so important. Let's get stuck in. When us lead gens, as we get, as we get really kind of um, deep into lead gen, we start looking at all of these really important metrics and we want to automate everything. We want to have people go through the funnel and take step-by-step -step quiz, quizzes and um, we want them to be able to take micro commitments and we want them to do X, Y, Z so they can become a lead. And this is all, all super important, but we, we can't forget what the customer is, is actually after, right? And sometimes it's not automated this and micro commitment that and all of these other things that um, we try and get force force our prospects to do in our legion funnels it just doesn't work that way what we can do and what people sometimes want and it's probably a lot more um, of a percentage of people of the traffic that's hitting your page want is they want to actually talk to a human being all right or engage you know if you can't do the human being thing there could be a, a, a kind of chatbot element to what you're doing right um, and this can coincide with your legion funnel your, your lead capture page or your quiz or, or your advertorial or whatever that is. It's super important all right for a number of reasons. First as I said there's um, a lot of traffic coming to your page not everyone's going to want to go through a funnel they're going to have questions and they want to talk to a human you need to be aware of that right whether or not you have the capability to do it that's another thing but it's pretty easy to find that capability if you really want to do it and the second thing is that you've got to be able to chat to a prospect to figure out what you can use and what intel you can gather from these conversations to put back into your ads, all right? What are the objections um, with the product or service that you're, you're running ads for? Um, what really makes people interested? Um, all of this stuff, uh, you know, what convert, well, you know, what gets them excited to become a lead? You can figure this stuff out if you have real live chats with a human being to another human being. You can't do that if you're just automating everything all right so there's two really important points to make the first one is that some people want to chat and they can't be automated and the second thing is you want to be able to use the intel you're gathering from these conversations and, and recycle them and put them back into your hooks and add copy and if you can do these two things then you're going to open up a whole new window um, for your agency and your lead gen business so I'm going to uh, hand over to my tech geek Graham, he's sitting right here now, he's just shaking his head at me, but um, I'm going to hand over to him, he's a bit of a tech geek, and he's going to help you, um, show you how to do this and get it, get it up to date and um, installed and working really well. So without further ado, I'll hand over to the geek. Take care. Bye. <laughs> hey guys, um, so... Today in this video, I'm just going to quickly um, show you guys a couple of ways how you can add the um, Facebook Messenger plugin to your landing pages or site. Um, so let's get cracking. Um, so basically, the first way um, you can do it is by going to your fan page. Uh, so we're on uh, the Dan Wardrobe fan page here. Uh, let's get back to that page, sorry, quickly. So Dan Ward Wardrobe fan page. Um, now what you want to go on to is, I believe it's Messenger Tools. What is it, Settings? Let's look at Settings, there it is. Uh, so you want to click on Settings and then you want to go to Messaging. Now on this section has a lot of stuff about your um, your Messenger. So it's got your Messenger link here. But what you want to find is this Add Messenger to your website section here. Um, so what you want to do is you want to go uh, press Get Started. And it should bring up uh, the page, which is all, all about the chat plugin, basically. Um, so obviously, I've already created mine, um, so this is what it looks like. Um, but the way you uh, do it is basically here you can um, firstly add in your kind of like the, the domains that you want it to show on. Um, so we've got it on a few flexible domains here. Um, and you do this by going to set up. Now, the way I'm going to do it here is it's going to be for unbounce. Uh, so I want to get this standard. So it will basically come with a code for you to add onto your landing page. Uh, so I'm going to click on this one here. And then you want to go through uh, the setup. So if you're English, English UK, if you're American, uh, US, etc. Uh, so it's on English, save and, save and continue. 
Uh, here you want to add your domains that it's going to be on. Um, so many chats on there because we've got a, a few things in the background with many chats, which I'll show you in a sec. Um, but basically you want to make sure you've got uh, your root domain and also just add in your subdomain as well, just as, uh, you know, good practice. Um, once you've done that, save and continue. Um, then this is the code that you've got here, um, which you can press copy code um, and then press next and that'll be the paste code. So we'll press finish for now. But then we want to just go on to, to this. So here you can customize your chat pl plugin. So you can change the greeting, which appears here. Um, you can change the color of uh, the button and the, believe the messenger uh, thing as well. Um, and then you can also change how it appears on your site. So you can just have the icon only, which should just be this, this thing here. Or you can have icon and text which uh, would be uh, this here, or you can also have just text only. Um, I usually pick this because most people know um, what it is, or you could have that, that one as well, it's up to you. Um, and the icon style, uh, we have the messenger icon, but you can just have the basic uh, chat there. So if people don't know it's messenger then, um, it's up to you. Uh, we normally have the messenger bot here. Prominence. We have the button and greeting, but you can change it just to be the button, or you can uh, have the window. Uh, we have it on button and greeting, which is just uh, just like this here. But you can have you can customize it however you want. Um, use the chat plugin or use Messenger app. So once they click on this, you can either have the plugin pop up a chat box, which is what we have, or you can use the Messenger app. Um, but we do use the chat plugin. And then you can amend the position, uh, so it's going to be on the right or left. Normally, chats are on the right-hand side, bottom right, so I'd have that, and I'd leave the um, standard um, margins that they have there. So once you've done that, uh, you can finish that. And there's the, the start of the conversation. Um, so you can kind of get some um, placeholder text set up. Um, so it's up to you what you do here. Um, I mean, normally we just kind of want to use it as um, an option for them to chat to our fan page so we can engage with our with our users. This this current example is for our flexible uh, landing pages and site. Um, so we kind of just leave it a bit standard, but you can go a bit more techy in it. Um, and you can also attach a mini chat bot to it, which I'll show you in a sec. So once you set all that up, um, I would just press publish. And then I will go back to setup, click on standard, and go and copy the code again. Once you've copied the code, uh, you want to go to your landing page, uh, which is for us in Unbounce. You want to go add new JavaScript, and you want to put it after body tag, name it, and then um, pop your script in there. Press done, press save, and press republish. So it's quite simple to get set up. I'll just show you what it looks like. Um, so open up the page, and it should appear in this right hand corner after the page is fully loaded. There it is. So it appears uh, about a 10 second delay into it. Um, just so it gives people the chance to um, read through and then they can click on it. Which brings up this here. Um, when you press continue as Graham, it gives you the option uh, to uh, chat in Messenger. So it's, it's a good little add-on to have uh, in case people do want to convert via um, chat and then you, you can engage with uh, with users find out what their uh, problems are um, and so on and so forth um, so check that out so the next way uh, you can do it is by going into many chat uh, so you have to set up a pro account uh, with your fan page so this is again down wardrobe and then you want to go to growth tools and then this is one of the test ones we just set up this is for um, again the flexible page and then you can set up a customer chat here. Um, so you can 
amend which pages they have to be hidden on and which pages they can sh be shown on. Um, so we've got that so far. Uh, again, you can change the, the color to fit your brand. Uh, then there's a greeting message. Um, and then you can choose to show on mobile or desktop. Um, open chat window or show messenger bubble only. Um, again, this is um, much like the other uh, other one as well. Um, so once that's once you've sort saved uh, sorted all that out, you want to press save, and then you want to go and install uh, Java Snippet. So this just makes sure you've got your um, domains set up so they appear, and then you can just um, copy to clipboard, go back to um, your code and I, I take out that bit there and I believe this one has to be put in the head though so once you've done that save and republish now what this is good for um, is basically you can set up a chatbot so they can come through the chat uh, they come there and then you can um, kind of ask them questions as they come in. So we have an opt-in message here. Thanks for connecting. Glad you're ready to escape, whatever. And then you can kind of, um, you know, set up your kind of like chat messaging. Because once, they, once they've um, opened up that chat and start speaking to you, uh, it will appear in your fan page messenger, which means you have their name, uh, things like that. And you can start chatting to them. So that's quite a powerful tool to use. Cool, so next up, and lastly, it's how to add it to your WordPress site. Uh, this is uh, very simple to do. Uh, basically, you wanna go uh, into your dashboard and you wanna go to plugins. And then uh, you want to go to add new. And it should be called Facebook chat, I believe. So here's this one. So we've already got it uh, in installed, but we haven't got it act, 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 activated yet. So what you want to do is you, you want to click install now. You should have it installed now. And once it's installed, you want to press activate. And that should add it to your um, thing down here, which you can see is Facebook chat. So once it's activated, you want to go to Facebook chat. And then basically here is where you'd uh, edit chat plugin. Then it will bring up a similar uh, kind of uh, thing. This one. Cool. So it will bring up a similar kind of uh, template as to the one I showed you first. Start conversation. You can sort that out there, which is basically um, have like a little message that pops up and then maybe little things that they can click. It's up to you. You don't have to have anything. It can just be used as the live chat function. Um, and here is where you can uh, like amend your kind of uh, presets for how it looks. Um, so yeah, you can have your greeting message, uh, guest chat. You can allow guest chats on there. Uh, we don't because we like getting their like their name and their profile so we can chat to them um, better. But you can do that. That's perfectly fine. Um, and then you can uh, change the color. Again, we've got that already, so that's fine. Um, icons you can change button prominence again. You can change just button it's up to you and then again uh, it, it's alignment and once that's done uh, you press publish uh, click X out of this and then just to show you this is on our main flexible site and after a slight delay it should pop up There we go. I think I've already got in there, so nothing's going to pop up because I've already got in there and I've already started the chat with uh, with the Downward Wardrobe fan page. Um, but again, it, the beauty of this is that it will just mop up a few more conversions for for you. So people who don't want to convert um, on on like say your page or landing page, but they see a live chat and they want to ask a question, can easily just go there and they can just go, hey Dan. 
something like so something like that, and that will get sent straight to uh, your messenger um, there, your fan page messenger, and then you can have someone to man that just to chat to people who who, who come through it basically. Um, so it's a very easy thing to add to your site, and it can mop up that that you know few leads that you can get from it. Um, I think we got about an extra ten leads from this plugin for every hundred leads that we got. We got about 10 from the plugin. Um, so without the plugin, uh, we probably wouldn't have got those 10 leads. So it, it does add leads for not much um, extra effort. Uh, so I thoroughly recommend giving it a go uh, and trying it uh, in your agency, guys. Um, thanks a lot for checking out this video. Um, and I look forward to chatting to you in the next one. Cheers, guys. All right, so if you enjoyed this video today um, and all of this tech stuff that Graham's showing you, the um, Facebook plugin and how, how it all works, and you want us to create more content like this, then please give us a like um, so we know to create more. Um, if you've got any questions for myself or Graham, please type it in the comment box and we'll get back to you. And lastly, please subscribe to our channel so you'll be the first to know when we're creating awesome new stuff like this. Thanks. If you are a lead gen and you're sick of um, being a prisoner in your agency by trying to do everything for everyone and having lots of retainer clients that are paying you varying amounts and they're driving you insane, then I've got a way to be able to escape that hell. And it's called performance-based lead gen and I have a game plan on how you can escape the old life and move over to the new life. It's good stuff. There'll be a link somewhere. Click it and enjoy.